time is a relative terminology. Only we mankind use it as an absolute category. Yes, because we measure it. We measure it with sand watch, with shadow, with devices, hand watch, other equipment. As we mankind measure everything, we measure our, our blood pressure, the velocities, the speed, the lengths, everything. And finally, we become slave of the numbers because we live under the rule of the numbers. So we establish our artificial environment. We think that we rule this environment, but finally, this artificial environment is ruling us. But from the aspects of the planets, the time is different. From the aspect of the ocean, time is different. From the aspect of the ocean, the high tide and low tide is determined by the moon. The, from the aspect of the insects, their egg or larva or adult status is a kind of circle that is their dimension and dimension of time. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has no hand watch. Allah for him subhanahu wa ta'ala that time is a different thing. But for you, the time starts from your birth till the death of your body. And everything you put in this short period, when to sow the seed and when to harvest, how to divide your life into days, hours, according to your work. And finally, you die and in the state of Barzakh the time is even different for you. In the Quran Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decided for you what is the time in order to serve Allah. In the Idda Tashur and Allah is na Ashara Shaharan fi kitab Allah Yom Khalaqa Samawat Wal Ard. The number of months in the sight of Allah is twelve in a year, so ordained by Him the day He created the heavens and the earth. But this twelve months is in order to serve Him when to pray when to go to Hajj, to pilgrimage, when to give the Zakat. But of course, this 12 months is different from the 12 months you are counting in your calculations. So, Allah is helping us to get rid of our own dimension where we close ourselves, we are in a jail. We consider that time is absolute, time is relative, the truth is relative. And whoever knows the Quran knows that even Allah has different uh, description for time. Once he is saying that he subhanahu wa ta'ala created the world in six days, and on the seventh he took a rest. A day means here different thing that than you mean. In another place you read that one day at Allah means one thousand years. In a third place you can read that one year at Allah means fifty thousand years because the approach is different. So when you can read all scriptures and you, say, and you see that a person lived 
20 years and in the age of 20 he died or she died that means maybe it is different 20 years than you mean today in Africa in different places they even today don't uh, register the year of birth but they link it to a phenomenon a different phenomenon even the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was born in the year of the elephant yes and if a phenomenon so the Quran and the verse of Allah is teaching us to use our brain in different dimension not in the human dimension because Allah has an infinite dimension and don't be slave of your own dimension wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh